Hello! Oh, so do you want to get a quick interview for the... Uh... Yeah, come in, come in, Matt. You all right? Come and sit down. Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. It's just been a bit of a, bit of a busy morning. Uh, quite a lot of work on, actually, to be honest. Uh, what's it for? Uh, the, the levers video. Oh, okay, right, fine. Just give me, just give me a sec. Right, okay. The leaders video. Yeah, shall we begin? So how do you feel about the year 13's leaving Tommy's? Um, year 13. Uh, I think you look mildly scared, I have to say. I think... Why is that? I'm not sure some of you lot are ready for the, right, the real world. Uh, um, All right. I'm quite pleased. It's only another week, and I suddenly got a lot more frees. Oh, so another, <laughs> another year gone by. <laughs> I think it's brilliant. It's very difficult to think of one or two things that you, you know people will be remembered by. I'm actually quite sad because you're all such a lovely group of kids, and you've made my year quite happy. Sad. Sad. Really, really sad. Yeah, I think there would be like an empty space in my life. Um, I'm trying to think of positives. Mm -hmm. uh, disappointed. I thought we've been really good kind of characters this year. Um, really good work ethic and just a good general kind of discussion and good laugh. Um, so yeah, I'll miss them actually. I mean, I've been looking forward to it because A-levels have taken the life out of me, but at the same time, I feel nostalgic about everything that's happened before. It's quite emotional. Um, I'll be, I'll be pretty sad on the last day, um, just leaving it all behind after seven years. Bit devastated, more or less. Devastated. Fight. Yeah, it's a nice adjective. Yeah, it is. Yeah, very good. Mr. Lloyd taught me that. Yeah. Just all right. Yeah, just all right. Not happy. Not sad. Mm, a little bit. A little bit. Some which? of you are dirty, and some of you are clean. Um. Quite sad because it's been a big part of uh, childhood. Obviously, I think all my friends really kind of came from being at Tommy's. So. Actually, though, to be fair, I've known um, some of these people for a long time, and I've got you know good friendships. I think with with people like yeah, I'm very sad. Yeah, you know, it's gonna be hard to say goodbye to everyone. Miserable. Oh yeah. Very very sad. Actually, it's always weird whenever students leave. Whenever we get to the end of the exam, yeah, it's sad. Obviously, it'll be an upsetting day. Like, oh, so many great memories through, through all the years and lots of relationships made. Oh, it's a bit sad, but you know, you got to keep moving forward, and progressing. Yeah. yeah. Desperately sad. Really? Yeah, seriously. Yeah, I'm always very sad when you go. Yeah. Good. Obviously I haven't been here for very long, but it's been pretty good. Obviously the best choice I've made in a long time, so I'm going to be quite upset to leave. Yeah. Pretty devastated. I mean, it's going to be, it's been a long time been here and, uh, you know, it's, it's the end of an era. It's been a whirlwind, but in the end it's, uh, it's something I'll always love and I'll always look back on it with like, sentimental thoughts. I'm feeling quite, I'm feeling quite sad because, uh, yeah, I miss it. I miss it a lot. We'll only realise that these are the the good good old days when we've left, and that's yeah, like quite sad. Go travelling. Go to Thailand. Go to India. Go to Australia. Go and like have some fun. That's what you did. That's what I did. Yeah, yeah. Had some Any fun. good? Yeah. From what I remember, yeah. I was like pretty drunk most of the time. Did you get bare girls? I got yeah proper peng <laughs> girls everywhere. <laughs> Yeah. I suppose above all, it's this incredible commitment to the school, a kind of strong sense of pride and commitment to not only a sport, drama, music, trips, but above all a commitment to each other, which I suppose is for me the hallmark of your year group. It's the end of an era.
too much for money. Money can't buy me love. Can't buy me Who will you miss and who will you be glad oh, to see the back of? Easy. Me. Yeah. yeah. Who will I miss though? <laughs> um, you got like, even made you laugh. I miss my forum group actually. Aww. I have sort of quite liked, liked watching them grow up over the last couple of years, and um, I will miss I will miss my forum group. Miss Barry. Miss the boys. Miss all those training sessions. Rugby. Yeah. Uh, there'll be a few I miss, especially when I used to serve you in the kitchen, yeah. in the canteen over there. But, but no, some of them, but that's about it. The rest of you, I ain't. Probably miss the Rob thing, cause like, yeah, he just sort of like taught me chess and like maths and stuff. And yeah. you are gonna miss us in a weird way. In a very weird way. Yeah. I mean, maybe you don't even realise it. I mean, it's possible that it hasn't yet dawned on me quite how much I might miss you guys. Maybe I'm so speechless at how much I'm gonna miss you. Can you cry now? <laughs> on demand, <laughs> just start crying. No. Yeah, John, John, I'll miss John. But I'm gonna miss Tommy's. But I'm Katie Seymour. Sadie Keymore, she's, yeah, that's definitely one of them. Probably, Guy Floyd. Guy Floyd? He's just, well, he's a front row club member, isn't he? Of course. You know, does the, does the hard work at the coal face. Never moans, never complains, just gets on with it. Lovely bit of facial hair as well. Me. But I prefer the ginger beard. That I really like that. But um, no need to mention the colour. What? There's no need to. I didn't mention the colour. You said ginger. You said ginger. I didn't say ginger. ginger. Oh. There's no need to mention that. <laughs> I will miss my geography class as well, just oh. a little bit. Oh. But uh, my forum group in particular, I, I think I'll, I'll miss them. The mess you make is disgusting. <laughs> well, you can be a bunch of renegades but yeah. that makes me smile because yeah. then you all show your personalities then and then I know what you're all like. I did have uh, um, Noah and 9B and, and back in the day they got taken away from me because I couldn't control them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 10B? Yeah. Uh, actually I'll go as far as saying you were quite horrible towards one towards your form tutor. I think that's fair. Wonder how many are in prison? S See? Three at the moment. Three, three at the moment. Yeah. They're doing well. Yeah. Doing well. Yeah. Possession. Just possession. Okay. You've been voted most likely to be a billionaire. How do you feel about that? Yeah, yeah, I feel sick. Um, you know, it's honouring. It's uh, it's humbling. Uh, Gas to beat George. Uh, don't worry, mate. You'll you'll do well in the future. Um, you did get worse PDA offender. How do you feel about that? Great, yeah, wonderful. <laughs> You two actually didn't get the best couple of awards. I'm good. How do you feel about that? I thought it was I a shoe-in. we in. deserve it. Yeah, it was yeah. definitely a shoe-in, to be fair. You have been voted the year's worst driver. How do you feel about that? I mean, he's crashed his car. Sam Peter's rolled his car. That's my license. You've almost lost Noah his... Noah wrote off a car. Noah wrote off... I don't know how I've won it. How do you feel about not winning the uh, best relationship vote? Do you think Noah and Hengi were deserved winners? Um... I think... Wait, get my shoes in it, they're really expensive. <laughs> Why are your eyes always red when you come back from grill at lunchtime? Because the spice in the food makes my eyes water. I've heard you're funny, apparently you've got the best chat in the year. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Just disappointed I didn't get to win a most attractive boy though. Are you going to continue the PDA in the common room at Cambridge? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. 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 Just to just I'm just going to creep in it just for the other. PDA. Yeah. <laughs> Why is your chin so big? So I can exclusively reveal to you that you've won the accolade for most of the friend zone. How do you feel about that? Just 
friendly guy, really. Just friendly. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. So, um, on average, how many times a week do you dream about my girlfriend? Yeah. Excuse me, lads. Can I just trouble you for a quick interview? Yeah. Is that right? So you did win the uh, vote for best couple. How do you feel about that? I think uh, it's great news, obviously, but I think we, we both saw it coming. I think everyone, everyone looks at us and they just they kind of jealous. They wish they were like us as a couple. Yeah. yeah. So I've got some news for you. You have been voted the fittest teacher. How do you feel about that? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guy. <laughs> really appreciate the votes. Uh, I voted for you. I think you're sexy. <laughs> this is pretty awkward. <laughs> it's basically everything I've ever dreamed for. It's why I got into teaching. You know? yeah. Yeah. What, kids? <laughs> <laughs> so it's been decided by vote that you bleed the most blue and gold. What do you make of that? Pretty happy. Um, I love Tommy's. I love the school. I love everything about it. The pupils, teachers, um, the whole, the, like the actual school. I, I love the whole thing. So yeah, no, I was I'm pretty. Pretty happy with that one. So we can exclusively reveal that you have won the wants to be a roadman oh, thing. Okay. How do you feel about this success? I mean, it's, it's always an honour to win it. You've worked a long time for yeah. this, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. Um, I think the key to badness. Right. <laughs> what you got to do? You got to have a roadman pouch. Yeah. Maybe you know, chef down the pocket. Yeah. Is it? Is it? Is it? You just got chef a couple of nerds, you know. Have you, got, have you caught drawers? Don't tell anyone, of course. He's got jewels, he's got jewels. Safe, you're safe, 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 safe. So you did win the award for most likely to be ID'd when 30. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Because many people would say that's a blessing. I uh, I think that's all right, because yeah. I, I actually voted for myself. Yeah. Cause, uh, Smart move, that. Yeah, because uh, overall, I think I think it's a good award to win. Yeah. Um, it's, it's nice to have a youthful face. Uh, mm. I think it's beautiful. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Enzo. Memories that you're fond of, any funny things that have happened? Um, you lot ringing the bell while I'm actually standing there, that really, that really kind of makes my blood boil and I'm like, really? <laughs> really? You're ringing the bell? I'm standing here. Uh, I think Twickenham was was definitely a highlight, but I think my, uh, my most uh, sort of favourite memory is the fact that when I found out that I was going to be able to coach you again. I think it's rare that in coaching you ever get to uh, coach a team again and sort of try to put right what you thought you know the team were capable of so I thought that was that was a really positive uh, positive thing to happen and I really enjoyed it. Oh challenging. I did really enjoy our sports meal together that was good fun and just having a few um, beers afterwards with a couple of uh, a few cold ones. Uh, indeed yeah a few babies it was good. <laughs> um, I think it would have to be like the Westgate Army, you yeah. know, like in the year voice, eleven, yeah, yeah like yeah. you know, the chanting, yeah, that's pretty yeah. funny. Well, Scott, I've come from the rugby. A lot of opportunities going to Twickenham, playing a lot of nice games on that beautiful first team pitch right there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just making memories on the way. And uh, that journey in year ten goes to Twickenham must be one of the highlights. We were in a place in India, and um, it was like in the middle of nowhere. I was on in, a, I think it was Kerala. And um, me and mates were there, we were pretty bored. And um, we were sat in this bar, and there was, this bar was empty. And all of a sudden, this is no, no lie, um, two coach loads of Swedish women turned up and stayed there for the whole time we were there. Brilliant. So, uh, a fond memory, but he doesn't do art anymore, unfortunately. Jimmy Zhang, I remember teaching him monoprinting. Um, and that was that was an experience, a huge experience. I threatened to threatened to get excluded at one stage. That was good fun, permanently. Remember? I know her. I know we got Noah as well. Yeah. Noah, because he was the first little renegade that I yeah. sort of knew who's what he his want, name was. He wants was. a slap. He does. He seriously. He, he really wants. does need a slap. And like I'm always telling you all that I'm going to give you all a slap. But Noah. <laughs> Oh yeah, because he was the first one who tried something on with me. Can I have this free or my finger's not working? <laughs> um, there were a lot of laughs in Sherlock, um, you know. The bloopers video is quality. The, the, the MLG bloopers video yeah, was, was, was good. So Insert clip here.
on the, do you remember when they um, did what? That's into Taylor Swift for you guys was quite yeah. good to be fair. Yeah, okay, now you've said that, I'm going to put that in. No problem, that's alright. <laughs> The funniest, but also one of the worst, was when Ollie Gordon, Gleason, and a few other people got caught spray painting RGS Worcester's scoring hut. I mean, that's such a grammar school boy thing to do, isn't it? Mm. To deface a sort of cricket hut. Yeah. It, it was, you know, it was like the the baddest thing that they could do. And then on, on tour the South South Africa, not so much the sporting memories, but. Uh, on the side, uh, Reese, Reese Willis confessing his love for Will Sanderson and just jumping freely into the pool. It's a nice display for everyone. PDA only. Yeah, that's it. Sag falling over. I think the funniest moment for you was when you snitched me out for fighting that first week of year 12. <laughs> and I got kicked out of the common room. Yeah, that was yeah. Fun for you. Funniest moments. Uh, year 10 science lessons. We'll never forget, we'll never forget mixing all the chemicals together and then they were, they were downing a test tube and setting fire to move Pandora's pencil case. I mean, that's never going to leave my memory. No favourite people either then? I'm not good with names, really. Yeah, one night I was working at school. I work as a sports supervisor with a few of the lads and uh, we have to control the sports centre at night. Um, and one night, yeah, it was during the summer, I was I was, I was done all my jobs, so I thought I'd, I'd go for a swim in the pool, as you do, put my goggles, you know, just do a few laps. Um, I, my, head, my head was underwater, I couldn't hear anything, I was just going for, for a little swim. I put my head out of the water, I was putting out a stroke, and Morgs <laughs> just walks out of the changing rooms in his speedos, just jumps in. <laughs> okay. Every now and then we just catch eyes and just be like, all right, just get on swimming. <laughs> Mine has to be the threesome that we had with Tasha in the yeah. toilets last Wednesday. The South Africa tour was the best three weeks of my life. It was, uh, I, I just wish I could do it again. I remember laughing at you lot a lot, but yeah. I can't think of anything specific. The you lot when you were in year 11 were an absolute freaking nightmare. But I, I found a pair, of, uh, I found some underwear in, in my room and we kept them. Um, in my bag is a good luck charm traveling uh, as a joke and they're in my bag for about three months and we got to Nepal right and I've forgotten they're in my bag actually and uh, we're in this hotel room in Kathmandu and I went oh it's his knickers what should I do with him and my mate was went let's check him out the window so I threw him out the window yeah. right onto the street there's a busy street in Kathmandu and I look, we all looked out the window and this Nepalese guy is walking down the road sitting his knickers landing on the floor Look around like that, picked them up, shoved them in his pocket and walked off. So who knows what he did with it. I don't think there's a day that's not funny to be fair. Well we made small Morgan walk out of the, uh, the exams talk in year 11. That was pretty funny. Everyone, when I like ask everyone about this, everyone's like, oh yeah, Romy's, Romy's throwing the orange juice. I was ill for that day. Oh, I missed out on so much. The big food fight that we all remember. Have you heard about when um, Romy threw orange juice all over Charlotte Simon's coursework? It's so funny, <laughs> basically. So we were just sat having a normal break time and then someone lobbed an apple over. Amy Wallace got an apple to the head from Sherbs. Well, when Romy took it into her own hands and just stormed straight over the orange juice and just soaked. Before we knew it, Romy was chucking orange juice all over people's A-level work, so. I think it needed doing, to be honest. Yeah, no, I needed doing, she stepped up, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've seen the video and she looked pretty uh, dangerous with the orange juice. Mm -hmm. Lethal weapon, that is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit! Ah, lovely. That yeah. sounds like a cheerful, sounds like Romeo at her best, though. Yeah, it was. It was, lovely. It was good, yeah. Fine, fine hour, yeah. Are you a bad bitch? I am, yeah, yeah. definitely. I think people didn't expect it when I came here. No. But that's my church down roots. Yeah. The roughness in me. Yeah. From, from Coney Hill, you see. Yeah. From Coney Hill, so. 
Yeah. It's part, part of my, my genes. Yeah. James? Must be James. <laughs> 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 How is the gym going? Tell us a bit it's going more well. about that. Well, a few years ago, my dad called me a skinny twat. Okay, and ever since then, I've basically just been putting on mass, and one day I can knock him out. What are your bands? Uh, you obviously not in them. Yeah. So go play some basketball uni. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, you're gonna issues freeze. Yeah, come on. Don't kill people. Tear it up. Obviously, obviously, obviously yeah, you're right. no calibers. Tear it up. Who do you think's better looking? You or David? It's got to be me, hasn't it, really? Really? Are you sure about that? <laughs> you 100%? Yeah. yeah, it's an easy question. No brainer. I'm sure Harriet would tell you the same. <laughs> I'm sure she would. <laughs> and what do you think of the um, lifestyle that professional footballers tend to lead? Will you be partaking on this lavish lifestyle? What, being a wag? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice, I can see that. <laughs> Cheers. What is that? Uh, it's Angelo's slogan when he's going to be Prime Minister, isn't he? Can you think of any least favourite pupils? Oh. You're going to say yours? I know what you're going to say. Alright. Yeah. Who am I going to we say? We all know what you're going to say. Who am I going to yeah. say? <laughs> you can say it. Who am I going to say? say it. Come on. You won't mind. You won't mind. <laughs> Actually, you might mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't say it. Don't say it. Have you got a least favourite pupil? Oh, I know who yours is. <laughs> who? You know. You do know? Yeah, I know. I know exactly who you mean. So. Not sharing? I think it'd be wrong it'd too. It'd be wrong. Really. Yeah. We don't want to ruin, we don't want to ruin the day, really. It might break up. So what, what What was it that you thought went wrong in the year 11? Where, where do we disappoint you? Oh, we haven't got enough film to sort of uh, cover all of that but <clears throat> probably my uh, my biggest disappointment is uh, Joe Hawkins height <laughs> she's grown up a bit now haven't we yeah, a little bit yeah. just a tiny bit uh, hi Martin would you uh, would you like to be in an interview for the Leavers video just having a pasty <laughs> Been working all this, first time I've sat down all day. This leavers, why are you leaving? Le yeah, leaving. we have oh, a go. Thank God for that. <laughs> um, how do you mean leavers? So what, what gives you the, the thank God for that? Do you not, do you not like us? Well, usually you all get up with all when you start to leave, you guys, you do all sorts of tricks. Oh, yeah, we will be doing that. Yeah, that's exactly it. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have to pick up the uh, the, the repercussions of that, like you know. Grease or Vaseline on handles, cling film over toilets, not that I'm giving you any ideas. Sounds hilarious. Stuff like that. So that's why, you know, sometimes yeah. I'm glad you're going and then I'm glad that you're not going because, as I say, unfortunately, for some reason you seem to think that you can do little tricks and stuff. <laughs> and I will find out where you all live if you do. <laughs> I can tell you something now, you do not want Leanne after you. Oh, I love Leanne. You've seen Taken, haven't you? <laughs> she has a certain set of skills. <laughs> Thank you. Thank that's you brilliant. Much. Cheers, Martin. Okay. So for me, you're 13, so I, I really like teaching here. Um, what I really like is I feel, I feel proud um, of the students and just seeing them become interested in 
young people who are quite into the world and, and do well. As a year group, you, uh, you've got an amazing personality as a, as, a, as a cohort, and I think you'll all go on to do uh, sort of great things in your own field and just wish you all the best for that and make sure you come back and say hello and remember us when you're earning your millions. Probably Ollie and Ben will perhaps start doing Banksy spray paints <laughs> and make a career out of that, you know. So yeah, just all the best really. But at the moment, exams seem pretty important. Getting a good job, earning lots of money, that will probably be on most people's uh, horizons. Perhaps just having a great time, making the most of the world. But the one piece of advice I'd like to give to everyone would be above all, people matter. You know, materials can be bought or sold or lost or found, but friendships and relationships, other people, that is what you should privilege in your lives. For me, you've got to remember that for, the, for a lot of the boys I've known you since you were 11 years old, I remember Matt going to Heron School to meet you. I remember coming to meet you. I remember coming to meet you in a little library yeah. and chatting to you on tiny little chairs. So I, I've known a lot of you since you've been very, very young, young boys. And I just think that journey, seeing you from year six through to the end of sixth form, for, for me, and I know for your teachers, is is a special thing. It is. You, you really see you all grow up and turn into really kind of positive young men and, and for the boys that weren't here and the girls that weren't here, young men and women. And I think that is, that's really special. That's the special part of our job. I think that we will really miss you. I'll miss all the characters. I know Enzo's in front of me joking that you won't miss me. You'll, I'll miss absolutely everyone. And I think Mr. Lynch will say exactly the same because we're fortunate to be in a school and you're fortunate to be Richians who who are in a community that that genuinely want the best for each other. You want the best for each other in terms of 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 kind of socially, but also in terms of what you want to do in the future. And I just think that there's not enough good people in this world, genuinely. But I feel that I come into this school every single day, and I'm surrounded by positive young people within the sixth form. And, and we'll miss you. We'll miss you, and we'll want you to stay in touch. I just think there's so many people in your year group who um, who I really care about and so many of you are, are willing to back each other and back the school and I'm exceptionally proud of both those things really. Yeah, I think uh, you've been a, an exceptional year group. I remember meeting you two years ago in the, do you remember in the hall when you all came in on that first day, yeah. assembly number one of... 5,000. Um, I've run out of stories. They, we, 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 <laughs> there cannot be another assembly. There are no more. There are no more ways of saying it. But yeah, you'll leave. We will miss you. And you know that sounds cheesy and corny, but genuinely, the serious answer to the question is: you're all a fantastic bunch of people. Deserve to do very well, and um, we will miss you. I do this every year, you know, and every year you've got mixed emotions. You know, you want people to go on to be successful. The purpose of school is not for people to stay in school forever, but to leave well equipped, well able to do the next thing in their life. But you know, this year, for me, it somehow seems to be like an end of an era, and uh, you know, I am going to miss your year group enormously, more more than I can put into words, really. So can you sing for us? Can you sing? Alright, uh, okay. Just, just, just like 30 seconds maybe. Just okay, yeah. Um, what's the genre or like? Just whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. River, wider than a mile. I'm crossing you in style some way. My dream. <laughs> My dream maker, my heartbreaker. Wherever I'm going, I'm going. That if you start crying, I'm gonna find you. <laughs> the same way. Yeah. Thanks. You actually agree so much. Thanks, man. Thanks. <laughs>